Has anyone ever asked you to write something that has a word limit? Or have you needed to fit a response in a web-based form that has a character limit? Most of us have. And for these situations, Microsoft Word includes Word Count, a tool that, as its name implies, counts the number of words in your document at any given time. Not only are words counted, but characters, paragraphs, pages, and lines are as well. In the status bar, Microsoft Word provides a word count, which is a live readout of the number of words that you've typed. When nothing is selected, it tells you how many words are in the entire document. When you select any amount of text, the status bar shows you the number of words you've highlighted as a fraction of the total. For more detailed information, you can view your document statistics, which includes additional information about the number of pages, characters, paragraphs, and lines in your document. You want to post a response on a website, but there is a 1,000 character limit on the submission form. To ensure your text will fit, you're going to determine your document's character count by accessing the document statistics. The live word count tells us there are 228 words in this document. We're actually more interested in finding out the character count. We can quickly access this information by clicking on the word count in the status bar. The word count dialog box displays everything from the character count to the line, paragraph, and page counts. It even lets us choose whether or not to include footnotes and endnotes as part of the count. There are no footnotes in our document, but there is a quote inside a text box that we don't want included in the character count. Let's go ahead and deselect that. The counts have been updated to reflect the statistics without including the contents of the text box. Our word count now reads 210 words and Word shows the character counts with and without spaces. Web forms, like tweets on Twitter, count spaces as characters, and ours requires us to be under a thousand. Let's try checking the count without the first paragraph. We'll need to close this dialog box first. Since the last three paragraphs contain the information we want to post on the website, let's see if the count for these is under a thousand characters. We'll need to select the paragraphs first. Just click Next and we'll do it for you. While we could click the Word Count section in the status bar to view more information, let's try a different way this time. We'll begin by opening the Review tab. At the far left, in the Proofing group, we can use a button to access the document statistics. Here, we see the same word count dialog box again, and this time, it displays the counts for the selection we made, 976 characters with spaces. We're now under the character limit, and are all set to copy and paste this text into the web form. Remember, if you're ever running out of room in a message or need to check a document's word count, you can use this handy tool.